and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick, with the City of Hampton's Communication and Marketing Department. And today we're going to be talking about the Chili Cook-Off, which is a fun event downtown Hampton. My guest today is Sabrina Strakowski. Welcome, Sabrina. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. So first, I'm going to ask a little bit about you. How, um, how did you get involved with the fire department or fire and rescue? I got involved with fire and rescue when I moved to Hampton about four years ago. An opportunity was available in the education department, and I have been the fire programs coordinator for about four years now, and I manage all the programs for fire safety. Aha, and how does a chili cook-off qualify as a fire safety program? <laughs> well, the chili cook-off um, qualifies because October is Fire Prevention Awareness Month, and we recognize Fire Prevention Week, the week of the 7th. So each year, the first Saturday of every month, uh, Hampton Fire and Rescue, this will be the sixth one, uh, have an event down at Carousel Park to raise awareness about fire prevention. And we also have the chili cook-off as a way to have people come out and learn different things at the same time. So you lure them with chili, and then you try to teach them while they're there, is that right? Yes, we, by any means necessary, yes. <laughs> Food is always one good way to do that. And we have a lot of people to come out, and we invite everyone out because anyone can play a role in keeping the family safe and that's one of the things we want to explain to the citizens of Hampton and surrounding cities mm -hmm. that they too are important and understanding what to do. So while they're there they're going to learn some tips about prevention and things they can do you know in case of fire or, or how to be ready but tell me a little bit about the chili because this has become a, a pretty big event it's it only has, the it sixth has year or so. It a pretty big event uh, we have made some changes since I've been with the department it used to be over at Mill Point Park now it's over at Carousel Park, which is beside Virginia Air and Space. Right on that main drag right where people drive Right on the main drive drag past. of Settlers yeah. Landing so people can see what's going on even if they weren't aware. And we've been able to get lots of people to come out. Uh, and as you mentioned, they do have the opportunity to sample chili for a small price of 50 cents a ticket. But they also can go through our Fire and Life Safety House. Uh, we have vendors from the insurance industry, uh, American Red Cross, so we have other partners in the community that will be on site to provide information to citizens. Okay, but tell me a little more about the chili. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. you want to know more about the chili. Through. Okay, That's right. what happens with the chili is we have an open time for enrollment and different teams can come in and register. Uh, we provide everything they need except for the chili. Uh, this year we have 10 teams and those teams are different types of groups. We have restaurant, a restaurant division, and we also have a traditional division of local citizens. We have the volunteer fire department. Uh, Langley Air Force Base always has a team. Oh, that's fine. And they have different names for their teams. They are the afterburners. And we get a lot of support from the community when they come out and get a chance to eat. Uh, we also have hamburger and hot dogs um, for a very reasonable price. You can get lunch for $2.50, that's drink included in a sandwich. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have a DJ with uh, music. We demonstrate uh, with our canine accelerant, Taylor, and her handler. So people get an opportunity to see what the fire department does while they are there having some of that great chili. That's great. Now what is the connection with fire department and chili? That's like a historical thing. <laughs> that seems to be a historical thing. Uh, fire departments are known, uh, they are in the firehouse and there's always a great cook in the firehouse. Right, and, and when you're cooking chili you don't have to eat it right away. You, don't you can have turn to it eat off, it right go fight away. that fire and come back. Come right back and pick up where you left off. So we are definitely excited this year about the number of teams that we're going to have. And we have. Are they different? Are some like chili well, with beans, meaty well, chili, different levels of spice? We have uh, a chicken spice? chili. Uh, oh. Somebody's doing a chicken chili. And years past, we've had a seafood chili. So the teams can do whatever they choose. Uh, they also have can have cornbread. We have some teams that are going to make cornbread. Mm -hmm. So it's a way for them to really just do what they want to do, be creative. They decorate their areas. Uh, the afterburners always have a great set. Uh, with exchange, they have roadkill chili. So they come up with all these unique names and mm -hmm. they really have at it and it's a great time. That sounds like a lot of fun. Tell us when this is again. It's going to be Saturday, October 6th from noon until 4 okay. over at Carousel Park. Uh, the carousel is going to be running on that day as well and Virginia Air and Space of course will be open. Uh, we're going to be out there bright and early, definitely getting set up, but we will be prepared for people to sample chili. Uh, the chili portion is from 12 to 2.30 okay. because the chili 
I, I it, heard it, it went quickly yeah, last year. Yeah, it does go quickly, and it depends on how many people that we have come to the event. So we are definitely looking forward to it. This year we have uh, football coaches, area coaches that are going to be our judges. Oh, that so, sounds like fun. along with uh, Chief Layman and uh, Police Chief Jordan. So we're definitely going to have a great time, and we'd love to have everyone come out if they get a chance. Okay, and while you're here, since mm -hmm. it is Fire Prevention Week, give us um, a couple of tips. Like if you go out and speak to a group or if you're talking to a family, Family, what are like three things people should keep in mind? Three things people should keep in mind is cooking safety is a big one. Never leave cooking unattended. A lot of times people get distracted by telephones that are doing multiple things mm -hmm. and they will leave a pot on the stove and as a result they have a fire. Uh, we're coming into the heating season, uh, three feet from the heat. If you have heaters or anything that's going to be hot, make sure you keep materials that will burn that are flammable at least three feet away. And also understanding to have an escape plan. Talk to your family. I don't care how many people are in your family or their ages. Talk about having an escape plan, no two ways out, and practice. Okay. Those are main factors to help All right. keep. And smoke detectors, of course. Smoke detectors. Check those batteries. You want to check your batteries. Uh, once a month, depress the button on your smoke detector, but change your battery every six months unless it begins to beep and you know and chirp. Right. that you need it changed. Right. And we will do that for citizens of Hampton um, free of charge. That's wonderful. That is a great service provided yes, by, I would say tax dollars, but probably a lot of your volunteers do it. Yeah, we, we have volunteers that work with the department on different shifts, but that has been, the city's been doing that since I've been here. And it's been a great asset. Um, to the citizens. And it's a help too. Some people can't get up on a ladder and Some reach people that can't smoke get up detector. on a ladder. We don't want our uh, senior adults uh, to fall or right. even other individuals who may have issues uh, with their health mm -hmm. to, to fall and get injured. And they can call 727 1212 if they need to schedule an appointment or they need someone to come out. That's a great service. Well, thank you, Sabrina. And tell us again, date and time on the Saturday, cookout. Saturday, October 6th from noon to 4 at But get Carousel there early Park. for the chili. If you want to get there for some chili, definitely be there by 12 or a little before. Come out, have lunch, walk around. Uh, we have face painting for the kids, which is free, a jumbo slide. So there's a lot for the whole family to do. And you know, kids love firemen. I mean, you know, firefighters. I shouldn't just say men, yes, obviously. Yes, and women, yes. But it is um, an exciting thing, and it's something they can learn about when they're young, and it, it might stick with them for a while. I think that it will. Good. Well, thank you so much, Sabrina. Thank I appreciate you for having it. Us. And I hope I'll see you out at the chili cook-off. Thank you for watching.